Okay guys, we're going to create some cams using mathematical equation modeling. Uh, so we've already talked about what cams are and um, what they are used for in the real world and wh how we're going to use them in our automata project. Uh, so this demo is going to be for creating the, the pair cam. Okay, so uh, it should go pretty smoothly. Let's go ahead, make sure that you have your automata project selected for this, and we're going to make a new part. And uh, it should be a standard part. I, I know I didn't uh, adjust it, but it's a standard uh, English Imperial unit part. Okay, guys. And uh, first thing we want to do is we want to set our uh, mathematical parameters. So to do that, you're going to go to the Manage tab at the top and go, go hit on Parameters right there. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and select on Add Numeric. From there, we're going to type in, let's make the diameter first. So just type in DIA. And then click on over here under the column of, uh, let's see, Unit Type. We're going to keep that at inches. We're good with that. And then equation, we're going to leave that at 1. Um, actually, yes, we'll leave that at 1. And uh, looks like everything else is good. We're going to add one more, and this one's going to be our hole. Our hole size is going to be, um, let's make the hole 3 16 So just type in 3 divided by 16, and uh, click outside that box, and you'll see that uh, it changes a little bit, but it keeps it at 316, so know that because the, uh, the, the um, decimal here is uh, 316 decimal, okay? That's it converted. And um, we're not going to mess with the tolerances for, for this project, so um, go ahead and click Done, and we're ready to start with our models. Go ahead and hit Sketch and select the XY plane. And let's go ahead and we'll make a circle. And let's see here, the size of this circle is going to be the hole. So that's what's nice about mathematical modeling is you don't really have to deal with uh, as many uh, uh, the typing in the diameter and, and radius. You just kind of use the mathematical settings that you put in your parameters. So if I just type hole, that makes the a hole the size of um, the parameter that I set. Okay. Um, now, so we're we're working with the the pair cam here. So um, we want to utilize the diameter that we set, right? So go ahead and we want to make a starting point start off with here. So use your line command and go straight up and the distance here is if you look at the plans it's um, half the diameter so just type in DIA divided by 2 and it'll make a line at that length. Kind of neat right? And then we can go ahead and let's make another circle using our origin, always using our origin. Now we'll start the circle there and right click after you start it and select well I actually had it already set but um, yours should have been set at diameter um, we want this at radius okay so if it's not at radius go ahead and change that okay and then our radius if you look at the plans look at the plans is D divided by 2 right so that's our diameter divided by 2 so you just type in DIA divided by 2 and it should be good there and then next we're going to make another hole at the top of this line, right? Not a hole, a circle. So, And that is going to be, if you look at the plans, it's just diameter divided by 8. Okay. okay. All right, we're good there. Okay. We're all locked in. Uh, fully constrained. So we can go ahead and create some of our line work that is going to help us create that like pair of shape. So we make a line there. Let's make another line here. And we're going to make these tangent, right? We want them to touch at one point. So 
do I see? Tangent constraint, right? Is there a tangent constraint? Or tangent there? And a tangent here, okay? Notice the line moves, not any of your circles, okay? If your circles move, then those aren't fully constrained. You have to make sure those are fully constrained. And that's why I drew this line, this vertical line here. Click on this and this. Okay, so next. Uh, I think we're in good shape. And the hole doesn't look right. Hole doesn't look right. So let me see here. I think it's because I had radius set. So I'm going to delete this. And I want to make sure that I have diameter set. Yeah, there we go. The diameter of that hole. That's why. Okay, good. So this is what we want. Uh, let's go ahead and trim everything out. So we're going to use the trim command. And we just want that pear shape, right? operations got a little goofy there, so wouldn't let me trim out in the order that I originally tried to, but we have to figure that out. Control Z, undo, guys, if you have to undo something. We can leave this vertical line in here. Um, and it uh, looks like everything's good to go. Okay. So watch, watch, watch here, let me show you why we use mathematical modeling. Okay. So if you go to manage, go to parameters, Say I tell you guys, all right, double the size of the camp. Double the size of it, okay? All you have to do, with the same size hole, okay? All you have to do is go into here, change this to what? Change it to two, right? If I change that to two, look at that. Doubles everything, okay? Because we linked all of our constraints and our dimensions to the math mathematical parameter, okay? So, um, Kind of, kind of nice to have this, and it works in three in our 3D mode as well. So if I hit one there, it'll go back to its original size. Let's go ahead and finish this sketch, and I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this. And when I extrude this, I want to set my distance. Okay, now this is gonna be linked up to my uh, mathematical parameter as well. Okay, guys, um, what did I want this at? I think it was. I think it was diameter divided by 8. I think that's what I wanted. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay, so diameter divided by 8. Okay. Click OK there. So again, if I go back to my uh, manage and I change my size, so change my diameter size to 2, it changes everything, including the extrusion. Okay. Make sense? And that's it for the pair, pair cam. Okay, guys? Good job.